Hey guys, me and team here. Welcome to Let's Play Civilization 5. And in this video, I'm going to uh, make an angry guy even angrier. Let's see it, Oslo. Now this is interesting because you know these pikes supposedly hard counter me, but wow, look at that. It's kind of crazy. Decisive victory. And that has everything to do with all the bonuses I'm getting and the higher base strength of my unit. So... See ya! And now I'm going to push this unit up here. Move this... oh, I'm out of moves. Okay. Let's get a little flank going on here. I want to keep my great general bonuses. Minor victory. Yeah, their strength is pretty good. That's okay. They'll all be out of city range, and I won't be able to be harassed too much by their other units, other than some archers. Okay, that could have been gone worse. And uh, smack the trebuchet. Absolutely. Poke. I might lose that spear. We'll find out. I'm a little bit worried about attacking the longswordsman just yet. Oh. <laughs> The remaining city-states don't like my uh, conduct, apparently. Can't imagine why that might be. Alright, I gotta get these barbs out of here. Don't auto in turn. Okay, so the longswords are going to come after my horsemen. Or, not horsemen now. Wow, the trebuchet really uh, ruined my day there. And wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. So it's Oslo eliminated. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there you go. Maybe you can make friends with a uh, hostile city-state as long as you yourself are hostile. And ancient era unit just smacking in medieval era unit, silly, absolutely. Did take some damage there. Okay, seriously. Yeah, I'm sure they do have a serious dispute of Oslo, with Oslo. I'm like the cause of that dispute. Wow, why did this wreck me so badly? Or maybe it is just the... Oh, it's the trebuchet. No, the trebuchet killed my pike. I don't know what to say there. That's baffling. But, okay. Instant heal! It's time for a revengeance. Um... This one's full strength. So I'm going to move up like this. Grab a decisive victory. Ugh. Stomp on you. Oh, I got to get rid of the trap somehow. Oh, I screwed that up badly. I can't reach the trebuchet now. Great. Major defeat. Oh, because I'm hurt. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I can block off the sword from doing too much to me, though. And I guess that's a pretty safe place to do it. Oh, no, I do have somebody who can uh, decisively win. Oh, no, he's used up his movement. 
Oh no, I could have moved like this. Aw, uh, now I'm angry with myself. Okay, next turn. I screwed up. Oh yeah, I thought I had it the first way. Was that uh, gonna... Was the, the Good, they attacked before they uh, bombarded there. Ow. Wow, okay. These are pretty even fights. You know, rather than you know, the horsemen being stronger than like warriors and what have you. So that's why I'm taking kind of more hits here. Safe attack. Oh, this one I should heal because I'm going to lose it to arrows otherwise. And I'll take a healing up there too. That should keep me from uh, losing too much. Another great general. Let's keep him near Washington or something. Okay. This is going to take some effort because just because Oslo is positioned the way it is. This is full strength. No. There we go. Still have some benefits to mount it here. Gotcha. Ooh. This is catching up with me now. So okay, I got through that whole fight with all those units using losing one pikeman and killed a couple trebuchets and a couple long swordsmen. No, killed one trebuchet, two um, pikemen, which would hard counter my units, and two long swordsmen. So nice. Discovered optics. These boats just never stop. It's so annoying. Just fortify there. So now let me see what I'm doing at uh, diplomacy. That is permanent war. Okay. Uh, and apparently, uh, one of the other civs is Persia. I'm not sure why I should know that, but it told me, so I know. Now build naval exploration units soon. Oh, awesome. <laughs> nice. Oh, I have some healing to do. 
and some happiness to get somehow. Fortifying the knights. Yeah, it's going to be good, but the happiness is going to be really problematic. Now, from my understanding, that really affects production and growth more than anything. So I could do like an. It just I don't think it would be as helpful. Most wonderful what? Oh, wonder a uh, number of wonders constructed. Okay. Oh come on! I keep trying to hit C and I hit B instead. Now, why did I disable hex view? Come on. Okay. Really, the knights are all healed already? So I think it's time to uh, take out Singapore. 22 strength. Yeah, it's, I'm definitely glad I have the knights because if I didn't have the knights, I wouldn't be able to handle this stuff now. More bombardment of Barb Galley or Trireme. Barb Galley because frankly, that's all that they had in Sif 4. The barbs. All right, get out of here. There we go. Yeah, I definitely want to meet another civilization, and if I can trade for some luxury resources or something, I want to get more cities, but I don't want the happiness constraints that I'm going to uh, have. The only other thing I could picture doing is the puppets just finishing their weather building. I guess, I guess that's the way to go. Genoa conquered? Well, someone's not being much nicer about this than me. Isn't it like end war type stuff? Alright, what do great merchants do? What are their options? Start a golden age, move mode, do nothing, sleep. Do I dare? Look, uh, try to look in the Civilpedia or something. I don't even know how to do that. Probably this. Great people. Well, okay, I'm going to read this over. So I'll conclude the video here, and hopefully in the next video I'll be able to tell you guys uh, exactly what the heck I'm going to do with a great uh, merchant. And I'll also be moving in on Singapore and trying to figure out how I can fill out the rest of the continent. Until then, me and team signing off.